Welcome you all to the video lecture on signals and system. So, today we are going to find the Z transform for the given X of N and also its associated ROC. So, given is X of N which is nothing but 1 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. So, what is the Z transform formula? So, the Z transform formula is given by X of Z is equal to summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity x of n z power minus n. So, this is the general formula for the z transform. So, first we need to know what is the range of your x of n. So, whenever there is no arrow given in the problem meaning that the first value exists at n equal to 0. Right? So, this value exists at n equal to 1, this value exists at n equal to 2, this value exists at n equal to 3, this value exists at n equal to 4. So, the range of n for this problem is 0 to 4. So, general formula we have range of n from minus infinity to infinity, but for the given problem the range is what 0 to 4. So, that we have to determine first. So, summation n equal to 0 to 4 x of n z power minus n. So, this I can write it as I can expand the given summation. So, substitute n equal to 0 x of 0 z power minus 0 plus substitute n is equal to 1 x of 1 z power minus 1 substitute n is equal to 2. So, x of 2 z power minus 2 substitute n is equal to 3 x of 3 z power minus 3 substitute n is equal to 4 x of 4 z power minus 4. Now, what is x of 0? So, this is the value at n equal to 0 x of 0 value is 1 and z power 0 anything the power 0 is nothing but 1. So, 1 into 1 plus what is x of 1? So, from this problem at n equal to 1 the value is what minus 1 that is nothing but x of 1. So, minus 1 and z power minus 1. What is x of 2? At n equal to 2 the x of 2 value is what 2. So, 2 into z power minus 2. What is x of 3? At n equal to 3 x of 3 value is 3. So, z power minus 3. What is x of 4? At n equal to 4 the value is 4. So, z power minus 4. So, x of z is nothing but 1 minus z inverse plus 2 z power minus 2 plus 3 z power minus 3 plus 4 z power minus 4. This is nothing but your x of z. So, we have determined the z transform of x of z. Sorry, we have determined the z transform of x of n that is nothing but x of z. So, now we have to find out what is the ROC. So, to find out the ROC, we need to know the properties of ROC. So, from the properties, we can write that for finite duration causal signal, the ROC is the entire z plane except z equal to 0. So, why it is finite duration? Because n ranges from 0 to 4. So, it is finite duration. Why it is causal signal? x of n value exists only for n greater than or equal to 0. So, x of n exists only for n greater than or equal to 0. Hence, it is said to be causal signal and it exists only for few range of n values hence it is finite duration. So, from the properties of ROC I can say that for finite duration causal signal ROC is entire Z plane except Z equal to 0. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for watching.